the show. As many of you know, I, Janet Hawkins, will be your host this evening. Before we start uh, the program of doing the One Healthy Minute, I would like to take some time to thank everyone for their prayers and their support with the loss of my husband in July. This was a very difficult time in my life, and with all of us, whenever we deal with death and grief, it is a very difficult challenge. So I would like to share with you some of the techniques that I use to cope with my emotional issues and the stress. I probably, if I had not been in the holistic health, I would have been a mess. So I used a lot of Nervines and I used a homeopathic. What I did is I used a distress remedy and that is a flower essence and it's also kind of involved with a Bach remedy as well. And that is a liquid and you put it straight in your mouth and it's very calming. And then I also uh, use Anxiousless. And I really like it, it has a B1 in it and that goes in and helps your body cope with anxiety and stress as well. And it also has um, a plant from Africa that goes in and helps calm you as well. And I personally take two or three whenever it's needed. Now, don't get me wrong, I've had my emotional breakdowns at times, you know, but overall, we have to accept what is given to us. And I'm very grateful that my husband passed quickly. He had a ruptured aortic aneurysm, and we were not known to, that he had that. So what I have done, too, with knowing what I have gone through, whenever I do a consultation with clients and I do the saliva and urine testing, or if they have high blood pressure, I will highly endorse them to talk to their doctor about a getting a scan to see if they have any aneurysms as well. It can be done with an ultrasound. Uh, my brother, who is a doctor, who came up from Florida during this time, it was very gentle with me and explained to me that my husband had been having really severe back problems. So I'm sharing this with you just in case, you know, you know someone that is, you know, having some issues with this. So uh, whenever you have some back pain and then also high blood pressure, and if you were a smoker, those are high, the smoking and the um, high blood pressure are two high risk symptoms as well. And uh, we were very wise in making a decision to get the autopsy. So we are aware of what was happening and how his death was caused. And so the reason we did that is I wanted to know if there was anything that our children needed to know for preventive or to keep an eye on a weak area that is genetically handed down through the family. And this can be handed down as well. So I'm just sharing this information with you because in the research I have done, it is a silent killer and people do not really talk about it. So I think that that's something that we need to all be aware of. And of course, it was a shock to our whole family and we are all trying to adjust to the best that we can. But we have to understand, you know, this was quick, he was gone in minutes and he did not suffer. And this is the way I personally would want to go rather than not being in a nursing home or you know struggling with being on dialysis things of that sort but god has a plan so all we have to remember is the minute we're born that is a ticket to death so we take each day one day at a time and make the best of it and be positive and move forward and we have to remember if we've lost a husband if we've lost a mother a father a child or someone very close to you they are with you in spirit you know, all we have to do is go out, take a walk, be in nature, and talk to them. And sometimes you'll see a feather, and that will remind you they are with you. Or maybe you'll see a red bird. Uh, I don't want to go on and on, but I will share this with you when I lost my mother in 2008. Uh, I was with her when she passed. I asked her to let me know when she passed over, and she squeezed my hand. And uh, the day we buried her, I come home, and there's a bird hitting at my window, and I didn't pay too much attention to it. Then I went down the basement to put some laundry in. The red bird, it was a red bird, it followed me to the basement window. I said, God is good. That was her saying, I'm okay, and I'm with you. So I just wanted to share that with you. 
So um, just remember there are alternatives to support your nervous system to help you with grieving. It's okay to cry. We have to release our tears to help us heal and to move on to the next chapter and the next journey. So again, thank you for your prayers and support. I appreciate it very, very much, and so does our family as well. So now also moving forward, um, uh, I just attended the American um, Naturopath Medical Convention. Uh, we have that once a year, and being a doctor and naturopath, I also have to have 23 hours of continuing education. So I go out to Las Vegas every year, and yes, I went this year. And uh, it's, uh, we're going to show you some slides of it as well. They have a trade show. And then also, I was very blessed to receive a, an award as well, and a Higher Achievement Award. And you have to be nominated for that award. And so I was very blessed to receive that as well. And that's Dr. Drucker, who is the president of the American Naturopath Medical Association. And we have this conference once a year. There are doctors, uh, MDs, NDs, and they're speaking for three days. And it's a great opportunity to interact with a lot of natural paths as well. So anyway, it was a great opportunity to get away for me to be with a good energy and to reflect on my life and see where I go from here. And we all have to have a plan and move forward. And so I just wanted to share that with you as well. So uh, I think there's a picture of Dr. Luca. Uh, he's Dr. Luke, and he is from California, and he's a Chinese doc. And I had gone to him last year, found him very interesting. He does the oriental medicine, of course, and uh, he did acupuncture on my tongue. Yes, my tongue. And it did hurt a little bit, but not that bad, you know what I'm saying. And uh, I felt much more balanced and relaxed because uh, he put me on three supplements. One was for the heart, and one was for sleep, and was for emotions as well, considering what I'm taking as well. So uh, I always go see him once a year, and then I will probably FaceTime him also in like three or four months and see where we're at at that point. But um, he's always very, very busy, and he's very, very good. So I wanted to share that with you as well. So I will go again next year as well. and. Um, then I have a lot of things I want to share with you, but I'm not going to do it all today because I bought a biomat, which I love it. It has crystals in it and it gives uh, off healing rays as well. And we'll go into that more uh, whenever I have it probably here for next month's show. And then also I bought the earthing. Oh, we forgot to bring up the picture on the earthing. So there that is, that is grounding. And that's where you don't have to go buy this, what you could do is you can go out and you can walk in the ground in your bare feet. And that grounds you to the energy of the earth. With all this technology we're receiving today, unbelievable on how it's disrupting the whole body, circulation, things of that sort. And what I have noticed, I'm sleeping well. I seem to be calmer, more in balance because I put the mat on my bed as well. It goes under the sheet, of course. And then um, that's, there's the earthing. And then that's a little pillowcase that goes over my pillow as well. And then there's a little, it's connected electrically to the socket as well. So you probably think this lady's crazy, <laughs> but I really believe, you know, the supplements are great, but it's a combination of things. You know, the one lady that was lecturing at the conference said, emotions are so involved with our illness today. And I totally believe that. That's why we need to get out there and walk and relieve some of the stress, get back to nature and do the grounding. And I'm very open to a lot of that, you know, and then we have our yoga, things of this, of this type. So we have many, many options. And this is what I like about attending this once a year because it keeps me up on the new technology and what is affordable as well. Uh, I believe the uh, grounding is under $100. And of course the mats are very, very high. I know for the one for the full bed, it was like $1,700 or 18. And I think the one for the chair was 750 at the show price. So I just wanted to share that with you. And then also I wanted to share with you too, um, going back to being uh, not cooking for the big family anymore. Uh, what I have done too is I use Plant Strong. 
And this is uh, a cereal which I'm addicted to. And you said you liked it too, Liz, right? And I like to put my blackberries in it. And then I like, of course, organic. And then I like to use almond milk as well. And that's a great refreshing breakfast. Because usually I would do yoga and, uh, yogurt and fruit. But I prefer this as well. It seems to be a little heavier, don't you think, Liz? Yeah. I'm so glad to hear that you, somebody else is using that too. And then also I uh, bought the uh, chili with it as well. You just open it up and put it in. And of course, it's not in a tin can. You don't have to worry about biological engineering. You know, it's a GMO because you got to check your labels today. So this is so nice too. And this is a pretty good one as well. So and I wanted to tell you about that. And then of course we have our hyper greens, which are awesome. And I like to put those in water. And if you're starting out, you may think it's a little greeny so what you can do is add some organic apple juice to that or you can also um, add a little bit of cider to it now that we're fall that's how I did it when I started out and it really took the taste off now I'm used to it so I just put a teaspoon in the water and drink it down I like some ice in it as well and there's your greens for the day it has some dolls in it uh, which is great for your thyroid and it has uh, organic wheatgrass which is awesome and so that's going to go and clean your liver. So, you know, I'm just giving you suggestions on what we need to do. And especially if you're a person living alone, these are some ideas for you to get good nutrients into your body without doing a lot of cooking or if you're extremely busy and still working or just busy with outside work and things of that sort. So we covered the nutrition a little bit as well. And then also uh, I did the canning. So I believe, um, he had a picture of that. He can bring that up. I did some whole tomatoes. I did those the other day. Those are very easy. So this is time of the garden. So it is now closing down. So we can can some whole tomatoes, which is very easy. All you do is get some hot water in a big kettle, get it very hot, put the tomatoes in for like five minutes, pull it out, and then drain that and cool them off and peel the tomatoes, put them in a jar and add a teaspoon of water. And you cold pack them for about, I think I did it in about an hour. And then of course these all seal up here. And cause I only had like, I think 10 quarts left. And so I did another seven, I might do another seven. And what do I use these for? Mm -hmm. I use them for vegetable soup. That is my main thing. It's my main base. I use one quart of tomato juice, one quart of whole tomatoes as well. And of course, organic vegetables, and then your organic carrots, and then your organic potatoes, and then organic celery. You can add those all in, and of course the cabbage as well. So that's just an idea on how to do the vegetable soup, but we'll get into that more in like November, December. And then of course I made the uh, tomato juice. That's an all day process, all day, because I had it on Facebook. And of course, some ladies wanted the recipe. So I just took a picture of my grandmother's recipe. It's probably like uh, 40 years old, but uh, you know, it's an old recipe. So what you do is you, uh, I use like a half bushel, or I try to use the big kettle because I have a stainless steel big kettle. And I try to fill it really full of my tomatoes because all I do is rinse them and core them and cut them in fours and then I add organic celery. I normally put that in the garden, but this year it didn't do well. And so I had to get the organic celery. And then I had my organic onions. And this is why you plant your parsley in the spring. I went out and snip, 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 and I picked my parsley and threw it in the pot as well. And so I had to cook that for about three hours, of course, so it all kind of cooked down. And then I had to put it through the little sieve, and then that takes out all the juice, and it takes, of course, you know, in the sieve, it has all of the skin and all of that other stuff. So this is what this looks like, and it's great. Then I can use this, for, again, I said for vegetable soup and lasagna as well. So um, it's just so nice to know what you're getting. It's in a glass jar. The shelf life of this is at least one to three years. I don't like to keep it more than three years whenever I can. Why do I prefer to can? Because my freezer always tends to get a little too full and I was raised canning. So I think I know what I'm getting and where it came from and what's in it. So just remember health is wealth and you're in charge of taking care of that. So, um, Anyway, we um, need to also um, consider 
keeping your immune system strong because now we are back in school. So, and now I have noticed it's dark at 815. Mm -hmm. It's going to be dark at five o'clock pretty soon. So we all need to take our vitamin D3. Now also, we all need our doctor, you know, but I prefer my holistic doctor, Dr. Sonny in Medina. And he's a retired ER doc, but he has a holistic medical business as well, a holistic business, I should say. And um, whenever you have blood work done, because I have blood work done with him once a year, and my vitamin D level was 995. I'm very pleased with that because I am type A blood. My immune system isn't as strong as type O. Type O has a very strong immune system. Type A is not. So if you have your vitamin D level between 80 and 100, you're going to slide right through COVID. And COVID is peaking right now. I've had a couple friends that have reached out and said, hey, what do I do to keep my immune system strong? I said, well, what I am doing personally is I taking about 5,000 units of vitamin D3. We get it from the sun. So we have had sun lately, but you know where we're going. We're not going to see as much and we're going to be inside. And a lot of times we're all inside as well, you know, working in an office and under the ultraviolet lights and all of that. And also to keep the immune system strong, I always like to keep the olive leaf around in a liquid form. And this is going to go in and help against viral bacteria, candida, or parasites. And when I do the saliva and urine testing, which is a, a BTA, biological terrain assessment, it'll go in and tell us if we have, like have a lady coming tomorrow. We're going to see how she does because, you know, it's going to tell us if she has a viral bacteria. It's going to tell us how her mitochondria is working. We have to understand the mitochondria is the powerhouse of your cell. So you've got to support that with COQ10, especially after the age of 50, because it tends to diminish as we are in the aging process. So, you know, what we do is we fine tune a uh, program for you, not just with supplements. We will talk about your diet. If you know your blood type, we've got to remember to try to go by eat for your blood type, okay? It's not in gold, but it is a good guide for you as well. And also, um, you just have to remember there are five things to keep yourself into balance, and one is nutrition. Nutrition is vital. I mean, what we're eating today is so different than when we were growing up. I mean, you got the GMOs, you got the chemicals, you got the pesticides, you know, we're just bombarded with toxins. I and mean, you've heard me say it before, our disease today is coming from standard American diet and toxins. So, you know, we've got to be way ahead of the game. So, and also we have the nutrition and then we have E for exercise. You've got to get out there and move. I mean, you're going to love it. Once you get out there, you're talking to God, you're seeing the, the sun's going down, you know, and you just let the stress go and you enjoy life and be thankful for what you've been blessed with. And then also we need to reduce our stress. Stress is unbelievable today. I mean, the people do not know what is going on and they're just concerned about the finances and life in general. And then there's our sleep. We have to have sufficient sleep for our body to recover and to rest and to keep that immune system strong. And the last one is A for attitude. So we have to have a good attitude, be positive and move forward. Just remember also the ABCs when it comes to your nutrition. A is for apples, for fiber. B is for beets, okay? That's gonna clean up your liver and character for your eyes. So that's just a little overall on our nutrition as well. So also right now, I am seeing a lot of clients that are having allergies. So I like to use the ALJ and that is a great, great supplement. And it also has um, horseradish in it, has a venal and mullein in it. And you take four of these only take it when you need it and if you can't breathe through your nose it'll open up in 20 minutes so this really helps too and i noticed whenever we had the um, the fire the railroad fire i was having difficulty breathing and my throat was getting a little raspy so i decided i would give my friend chris bailey a call and say chris i know you had worked with uh, air purifiers mm -hmm. so I have Chris and Liz here today to help us and educate us on the purifiers and how they work and what they do. 
which is a session for me because I turned it on and said, here we are, we're doing better. <laughs> <You're right. Yeah. laughs> and I'm not sneezing as much, I can really say that, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and there's not as much dust. Yeah. Absolutely. That's the two things I've really noticed. Yeah. So. And, and everything that you talked about, so you, the things that we can control. Right. What we put in our body, what are the waters that we drink. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and specifically, can we address the air? And we right. absolutely can. Absolutely. And, and this is one of the major things yes. that we've been facing. You know, before we get into the technology and about the machines, mm -hmm. you know, years ago we got involved um, in wanting to clean up our indoor space because we had purchased a home right. that was uh, full of cat urine and full of dander mm. and full of so much things that were actually causing um, my wife, new wife at the time, Liz. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was our starter home. <laughs> yeah. So okay. you yes. can tell yes. I all the starter was, I started out in a mobile home, I get it. <laughs> yeah, so a starter home yeah. and you know, you're in a new environment who knows what's left over from the right, previous homeowner right, right, and the right. air ducts. Yes. So you speak of allergies and it just got me thinking right back to that um, an initial story of our home and having a new kitten that we couldn't pass up because she was adorable. Right. Um, and my childhood asthma just all of a oh. sudden peaked wow. with all of that. And so we were searching, you know, I went on the medication, didn't know anything else back right, then. Right. But um, when somebody gave us a much, much smaller unit to try in our home, I could actually breathe and I didn't have to take my inhaler so much. Nice. So it was a total transformation for me. Um, once we really, you know, had the unit in the home, I was able to, for me, get off of the medication, still enjoy our kitten yes, and everything, yes, exactly, yeah. um, but finally breathe. Nice. So it was it was a huge deal um, for our home, and then from there we just started sharing that with everybody because I knew so many people that dealt with the seasonal allergies. Yes, and you know that's only continued to mm -hmm. be a growing area of concern. Well, and the nice thing is with the air purifier and the ALJ, you're going to feel fresh. You're not going to mm -hmm. have side effects from a medication and being droggy and you know all of that. Right. I mean, exactly. you know, and also you know one thing, and I'm sure you talk a lot about too, is 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 raw local honey, you know, which is also extremely important at the seasonal mm -hmm. seasonal right. time. And and so I think for us when we got involved, uh, just putting this type of unit into our home, uh, then we started to find out why did this actually work? What, what mm -hmm. is behind oh, it? What's, so what's the difference between an air purifier and let's say an air filter? And mm -hmm. that's what we, you know, really we started down that path and, um, you know, could, you know, because we hadn't purchased anything. We were just given a unit to test out <laughs> right, and right. we were like, we're not giving it back, yeah. <laughs> but we don't know anything what it's actually doing. And then we started looking at different things on the market, your Honeywell systems. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is really super early this on. This is a long time ago. And, you know, what, what is it about this unit that actually started working, which is the technology? Um, the product that we have here today uh, that we believe in and that we've been using a similar thing, we've been, um, uh, you know, promoting these types of products for about 10 years, and it's called Green Tech Environmental. Right. And uh, this type of technology has been around f since the, the mid-90s, I, I, mm -hmm. I, as we come to learn, going back. And um, it basically uh, harnesses nature's way of cleaning the outdoor air, but bringing that inside. Mm -hmm. And right. that's what makes it so special versus having a filter. This works on your indoor space on a molecular level. Right. It's literally creating the purification on the inside and seeking out the problem, rather than requiring the air from the home to be filtered through and pass through yeah. you know, a right. unit and hopefully collect. So and that, that way that's you're the big difference. Uh, you know, so for for the watcher, um, you know, think of your your air in the home. We have a, a little video that we were going to show really quick, and I think this is a great time to show that video. Okay. Um, we're going to pull that up here. All right. Um, and this this little video is going to demonstrate. I want you to think about all the things in your home. It's going to this this is a smoke box machine, and inside of here is two different technologies. We have the needlepoint ionizer and the ion antenna. And think of all your, uh, your pet dander, cigarette smoke, all of those things. Mm -hmm. 
and, allergens. And there was no fans inside of that box. When that machine wow. is turned on, that's what happens. It, it actually charges a, um, a, an electronic charge that actually occurs on all of those different particulates, mm -hmm. and they clump together, they become heavy, and they fall out of the mm -hmm. air. So our allergens that we're breathing in, um, like our, our pet uh, dander uh, that you know those all those plant allergens all that the come in the right. right and dust right. and the dust yeah. particles all of those right. things. you see that floating in the sunbeam yes. that comes yes. through your window yes. exactly that all is eliminated because they get charged and they become a heavier molecule and fall down onto your surfaces so you do notice a little bit more dust initially mm -hmm. but um, once you get through that period you'll have less dust and obviously less in your breathing zone right, right. and so most people don't know that uh, um, dust particles, uh, uh, that's where viruses actually occur. And we'll talk about viruses more specifically. They can actually float on those dust particles in the air and they can and they can stay mm -hmm. in the air for days at a time right. and so and they go much lo longer than six feet yeah right. and, and yeah exactly so right. they just sit there and um, um, they're always in our breathing zone and in, especially in the home. So let's t let's take back. Why is there such a need for air purification in the home? You know, in the 1970s, a wonderful thing occurred, which was making our homes extremely energy efficient. Mm -hmm. We Correct. had better windows. Yes. Uh, we did everything to make sure we sealed up every crack, everything in the home. <laughs> what that did was that made our homes breeding grounds for much more molds yep. and mildews, mm -hmm. and especially um, the. Uh, the aspects of new construction. We have much more dust and dander. Mm -hmm. We have much more uh, when we bring in our pets. We have much more um, VOCs because of new carpeting, glues, uh, you know, new flooring. We get our kitchen redone. Now we're talking about a whole home environment of that's toxins. making people sick. Right, and it's You've not just homes. Yeah. You're looking at it's a sick building syndrome yeah. in commercial spaces as exactly. well. Exactly, the formaldehyde and a lot of the right. building, building material mm -hmm. as well, absolutely. Right, yeah. Yeah. right. and then yeah. you have a lot of people in a space and yes. you're going to see the viruses and bacteria just proliferate right. throughout right. the whole entire area. And bacteria. so the solution, you know, if you go back and you look at the Honeywell systems, um, you look at standard furnace filters, um, you know, to try to filter the air, um, you know, it requires that air to pass through the back of a machine mm -hmm. uh, or come into a machine or your furnace and collect on a HEPA filter, mm -hmm. which is a wonderful thing, but it actually requires that. That's a difference. What is what well, we're no. talking about is a passive air purification right. system. Right, and those molecules have to be large enough to actually stick to the filter. You know, it's very similar um, when everybody was told to wear masks. Right. And you know, those virus particles go right through because they are such a micron size, you right. know, a nano right. size right. that. Same thing is with the dust particles. If they're of a small size, they're going to pass through and you're still gonna be continually breathing them in. Right. Um, but filters do a great job, they're definitely needed. So yeah, so this is a complete active system and the active system goes out and seeks out things. Think of it like, um, like little Pac-Man. And they, there, you, you start the, mm -hmm. the video game Pac-Man, and it goes around and eats all those different things. Right. That's what an active purification system does, and we'll talk specifically about each uh, component of how it works. We touched on the ionization, but it goes out and seeks its pollutant and destroys that. Mm -hmm. Where it, it and, and the good thing about an active purification system, it activates passive systems much more effectively because we all do need good air filters mm -hmm. and specifically uh, what we have discovered is a good furnace filter is more than enough when you have a good active purification okay. system you don't need sense. to own a air doctor for example and a machine like this okay. um, now if you don't have good air uh, air filtration like you, let's say you have a boiler or you have some of those things you, you're going to want to have some type of filter um, which green tech does offer as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. interesting very mm -hmm. good now do you how is the maintenance on this because i'm asking do we have to clean it or <coughs> yeah. once a year? So that's the one months? thing with a filter. Yes. You're always changing mm -hmm. out parts. You're always right. doing And that. it gets expensive. You yes. know, a lot of times, especially with a large unit, such as the Air Doctor, you know, that's a huge filter you're replacing. So it has a big cost to it. Uh, the great thing about this unit is that you can clean it and you 
you know, take it apart. There's very, very easy yeah, to so, do. Yeah, I'll point um, it to you and maybe to the camera too. So if you could, uh, and we'll talk about the all the technology. But in, in the back, this, this part actually comes off in the back. And there's just a little screw in the back. Okay. And there is a what we call a um, a, a pad filter in I the back, it. I and see that's it. actually designed not to try to p clean the air. It's designed to keep the machine clean. Okay. So it is something that you want to take off in the back and you wash that with uh, a little warm water and, and mm -hmm. if it has um, uh, like any particulate any on that's heavy, you can you can use take a little bit of soap or anything. Right, right. And and a little vacuum. And then air dry it and let it dry it. Right. 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 Yeah. Exactly. And that's, that's really everything that you need to clean on the machine uh, from, from a filter sheet. Now inside of here, there is a activated oxygen uh, plate, which we're going to talk about in detail. And that you wash that with hot water and ammonia um, to really uh, clean that. Um, and you kind of just do a quick rinse of that. And then there's that, that technology that we showed in the video, that needle point ionizer and that ion antenna, um, you would wash, you would actually clean those with a Q-tip uh, with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Okay. And that just keeps all that dust particulate that may build up on those because it's constantly um, trying to drop particulate everywhere in the home. And we'll explain how that works here in a minute. But in, in regards of maintenance, um, the only thing that really truly needs to be replaced on the machine um, is the uh, UV uh, style bulb. And that UV style bulb mm -hmm. that you see in there, that, that blue light that's on in there, uh, yeah. uh, this is prorated to last about anywhere between a year to two years, depending uh, how often you turn on and off the machine. Everything shortens the life as you turn things well, yeah. on and off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's designed to run 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And so obviously you're going to turn off the machine for maintenance. You're going to do that and that will, sh that will definitely shorten that. Um, and uh, it's about a, around a $50 replacement um, there. Uh, okay. for, for that replacement. Yep. So it's that whole entire cell yep. that, that just gets replaced. And you'll notice, so the machine is has so many technologies to it. It does tell you when it needs to be cleaned. It'll oh, say it that on the screen. Mm -hmm. It'll well, say, that's good yeah. because yeah, perform I, you know, cleaning. I've had mine, what, about three months? Mm -hmm. Something like yep. that, yeah. Yep. So yeah, so there's just a little uh, reminder button that, that turns on and you mm -hmm. just turn that off after you clean it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And it'll tell you if the cell needs to be replaced as well. Mm -hmm. So it's very intuitive. Well, good. I like that because, yes. you know, I'm not too technology, you yeah. know, into that. But yeah. for you to tell me, yes. I can get it. It's yeah. great. <laughs> it's it's great that way. Um, and this one unit, so this is the Pure Air 3000. Yeah. And this can cover a small space to a whole entire home. So anywhere from 250 square feet all the way up to 3,000. And so for a lot of people, if placed centrally in the home, it can do the whole entire mm -hmm. space. Well, that's Which what, is great. Yeah, we put it up high, like yes. you had suggested. Yes. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it's designed to be about six feet off the ground. Right, and I just leave it on all the time. Now, do mm -hmm. you turn yours off and on? No, no. never. Okay, no. well, same, same way. Yeah. 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 We, we want it to always be working because um, that whole entire cell piece to it creates the um, almost like what I consider hydrogen peroxide molecules. And we okay. know hydrogen peroxide right. is an amazing cleaner. Right. It um, goes out into the environment and it literally cleans viruses and bacteria on all of your surfaces. So, nice. you know, during the cold and flu season, it's great. Right. I, want to go around and clean all the door handles and right, phones right, and right, everything right. but it's nice to know that this is already doing the job without me even right. thinking about it well and i like it too because i have it in my office mm. i have people in and out yeah. and i always have the diffuser going as well mm -hmm. <clears throat> whenever i have a client coming in just to protect mm -hmm. myself as yeah. well and the environment now but the I feel only thing with a diffuser which you'll notice when the machine is on or, or, or a little bit too close um, this thing is designed to uh, uh, remove good odors as well as bad odors. <laughs> I noticed that because yes. I don't, I said, what's going it's on not here? Strong. The scent's not yeah. as strong because I love my lavender. Because yeah. it can't yeah. differentiate between um, the good and the bad. The good yeah. and the bad. Yeah. So yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, let's, let's talk a little bit about the technologies in here. So, okay. um, so we showed a little bit about that ionization. Uh -huh. So that ionization is um, designed for your particulate. So, um, and we showed that video, how that drops right. that particulate. Um, so that's one piece of the technology. If it had only had that, it would be absolutely amazing machine. 
Mm -hmm. um, it has this uh, UV style bulb in here. Uh, it's actually on a much different uh, sp uh, spectrum than a standard UV. It's actually in this um, uh, catalyst type system, which, it, which designed with this does create those peroxide type cleaners. Um, originally, the, um, uh, the owner of, of this company was uh, the chief engineer who did work with government uh, programs, even including um, the NASA program. Um, and so some of the technology was um, what they called space certified. Right. And this was a UV, UVX style bulb, and this kills all your viruses, bacteria on surfaces. Yeah. Um, so this actually seeks them out. Mm -hmm. It doesn't require them to come to the machine. Right, right. It seeks them out in nice. that space that you're trying to take care of. And we do have a slide um, to show that this machine did go through the testing for SARS-CoV-2, which it mm. does show that in about a little over five minutes, it's reducing that viruses on surfaces 99.98%. That's awesome. So it's amazing. And, yes. you know, SARS-CoV-2 is only one of how many. Um, in the past, this had testing for um, staph and strep and molds, all of that. It's killed on surfaces. So that's why you do want to keep it running at all Absolutely. times. So it's continually, you know, grabbing at all the different mm -hmm. things that are landing on, on surfaces. So this unit is amazing for indoor space for homes. But think of the application for school classrooms rooms, daycares, That's nursing me. homes, right. these places where you have a lot of vulnerable people yes. that, you know, can um, have a lot of challenges with infections. Yes. So. Now, have you noticed, how long have you had your machine? We've had, well, we've had, a, we've had a specific machine ever since that story, okay. ever yeah. since around 2002. Okay. So we, so long time. Yeah. So it's been a long time. <laughs> we've had, uh, uh, you know, and they've changed over the years. Right. Well, the, they've improved yes. technology yes. Yes. as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. So have you noticed that we have less viruses and colds and sniffles now that you've had the air purifier? We think so. You know, our, our kids definitely are a great benefit. Um, yes. They have rarely ever been on any medication. That's awesome. Um, awesome. We've been able to use this unit for lots of different applications, even in friends' homes, helping them um, after water damage and molds and That's mildews well, that, well, let that me, can let occur. Me, let me show, you know, this machine's about 10, it's a little under 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it it's not, yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not yeah. very heavy. Yeah. Um, I try to get people to think of this as a tool mm -hmm. instead of just an air purifier. So for example, um, it has an away mode setting on it that actually gets to a, a, a level and if you can see it, it's over here. And I don't know if you've even pressed that button, um, Janet, but that, that away mode setting, you'll smell it here in a second, it actually gets very strong. Um, and it's designed to be a way. Mm -hmm. So for example, in regards to what you were talking about, um, I'm gonna cut that off, is, um, uh, you know, in the home. So, so let's say somebody gets sick with uh, stomach flu, which is very contagious, right? right. Well, th you can take this into the bathroom, into the bedroom that they were in, and put it on, and put it on away yeah. mode, and blast that whole right. entire room before you go in there and do like a detailed cleaning. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and it's a time setting, so it's timed for two hours. You can set it for two hours or go to the max of eight hours, which would be if you're leaving the, the home, you know, set it, right. forget right. it, right. come yeah. back, and you have a completely sanitized space. Yeah, and, and so it's amazing for those. So absolutely, you know, oh, but it's continually doing that, not on the away mode, on the normal mode right. all day long. But this so is more intense. Helping, yes. Yes. helping yeah. those areas. So for example, you know, to go back to the pandemic time, you know, they, they, the suggestions were uh, six feet distance, uh, wearing masks. Ultimately, um, we're not going to get past this um, if we don't do something else, right? right. Um, the, everybody knew about this technology. This is nothing new. Th this technology has been used in uh, cruise lines, um, Disney cruise lines. It's been used in um, stadiums. Uh, stadiums. It's been used pretty yeah. much in uh, so facilities. many different instances. So they know the power of this technology. 
<clears throat> this is really what businesses, daycares, these things, school systems actually need to say, Absolutely. hey, do we want to stop the spread of, of any type of thing? Do we want to reduce flus? <clears throat> do we want to reduce colds? Why is this not being recommended, especially when they already know this technology and its effectiveness? Uh, because really what it's ultimately doing is it is mimicking outdoor air technology. The, everything that I mentioned from ionization, those uh, hydroxyl radicals, peroxides, these things are naturally occurring mm -hmm. in our environment right. to clean the air. And <clears throat> this is something that we know for a long time in its effectiveness. So we, we already know there's a, there's a been an answer. And um, one thing, if you go to, um, we'll share a website at the end of the show, um, but if you go to that website, what we talk about in this machine, there is a personal air purifier mm -hmm. that creates the same effect in a three foot space around yourself, yeah. which is um, the studies that they did ends up being over 3,000 times more effective mm -hmm. than wearing an N95 mask mm -hmm. if you're talking about yeah. viruses and bacteria. That, yeah. Right. Yeah. And, so, and, and, that's without, and that's without wearing yeah. the mask. They said, yeah. what is it? Say, take the mask off. How much more effectiveness of virus and, and bacteria is over 3,000% more effective mm -hmm. um, without wearing an N95? And, and that would be the only mask that is slightly effective on viruses and bacteria. So. Right. So there's lots of application for it, you know, especially for somebody mm -hmm. who um, does a lot of travel. It's something that you just wear around your neck. Oh, yeah. My parents went to Israel. They wore it on the plane, never had an issue, um, and, you know, felt, felt safe. It's basically, you know, a zone around yourself right. that things are repelled. Yeah, right. it's an, it, it works, mm -hmm. it, it slightly works outdoors. Um, but because of wind and things like that, right. not super exactly. effective. It's designed for indoor uh, spaces. Uh, but that type of technology is solely based upon the ionization. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a crazy story with just what we showed in that bo you know, the box video and that smoke video is that people who put these machines in their home who have allergies um, to things like grass and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. What is so funny is that that antenna that we showed in that little box is inside of this right, machine. Right. That sends a signal out um, over 100 feet in every single direction. And if you have this machine placed, um, this is the power of it, if you have this machine placed um, in, a corner. in a corner, which mm -hmm. is facing a, 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 in a wall that's out going right outdoors, it's actually sending that signal outside mm. and the ionization, when it turns on, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it has dropped and so reports are when people cut their grass, for example, in the front yard, they don't have allergies, but then they go to the back where, where uh, the, the signal isn't reaching, yeah. their allergies start right back up. Wow. And, and this actually shows how much dander this machine can actually pull out of the air. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think too, we not only have the allergies, we have people with asthma, breathing yes. difficulties, lung issues, maybe mm -hmm. COPD, Absolutely. things like that. You know what I'm saying? So yep. this could help clean up the air and help you get more oxygen in your system as well. A hundred percent. You think of everybody now is getting the alerts of the air quality on exactly. our phones. Exactly, exactly. So, and it was red yesterday, if I right. remember correctly. Right, yes. so we've had, you know, the train derailment that yes. was close to us. You could smell that plastic in right. the air. Right. We also had the Canadian wildfires. Mm -hmm. Uh, and who knows what else? There are well, spraying. we got chemtrails. We yes. won't mention that. You know, our skies so, don't look yes. the same, so we yes. know there's there's something going on. And I don't remember ever getting air quality alerts until mm. all of this occurred. No. So the great thing is that you know we don't want to bring that inside our home. And this um, Pure Air 3000 is the perfect solution for that. Yeah. You know, you can be protected in your home. Mm -hmm. And even if you have the wearable unit, you know, right. you can be safe outdoors as well. Right. Yeah, and so those are the two main components to the machine, uh, which is the UV technology as well as the um, ionization technology. And that's what's called the normal mode on the machine. But the machine does have a scalable activated oxygen mode which is gonna be really for um, the controlling of your odors 
and it will actually help with viruses and bacteria even a little faster as mm -hmm. well. And that's completely scalable from 250 to 3,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. And so this is going to be amazing for homes that still have cigarette smoke in them. Right. Um, you, um, uh, strong pet odors. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, I mean, it's mm -hmm. absolutely amazing yeah. for, for those aspects. Or if you burn something on the stove. Mm -hmm. Well, and especially <laughs> new homes. Yes. Yes. I mean, that's a gas chamber right there, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. With I, the formaldehyde, the carpet, yes. everything. And especially for parents who are expecting. Yes. They're getting the nursery together. Exactly. You know, exactly. you want to have the low VOC paints, but if you're redoing carpets, you're bringing in furniture, right. you want to have something that can eliminate all of those volatile organic compounds. So your right. little one isn't breathing it. I mean, it's in, in the mattress itself. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yes. just, it, we're surrounded. Mm -hmm. So we have got to be our CEO and we've got to be proactive and take control of our food, our yeah. water and our air. Yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's just one thing after another. I don't, yeah, I don't think, I don't think people realize how much control they have over the air that they breathe. We, you know, it's we, up to you. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah. know, now when we leave the home, you know, even with that personal air purifier, we can really help, um, you know, just with what we're dealing with when we go out to those places. So um, this has been, for so, for the people who own these machines, they will never live without one no. ever again. <laughs> yeah. And so if you know, you know that, that, that old saying phrase, um, because when you experience active indoor purification technology, um, you become almost numb to the effects of it. You don't deal with, um, you know, those little p air particles that you right, all those right. little dust particles yeah, you see on that sunbeam mm -hmm. coming in. It's gone. You and don't I see, don't, you don't see any of those anymore. Yep. And mm -hmm. I'm sure you notice the air right. is lighter. It's easier to breathe in. And when you go into a space that you can feel the difference where the air is stale and it's yeah. heavier yes. and warm and it's just yeah. harder, yeah. you know. And now this doesn't change the temperature, um, but it does give a cooler feel to the a air. fresher. Uh, yes. yes. And so yes. If, the, if, you, if you experience this in the winter for the first time, you may notice the air feels a little cooler because it's not so heavy with all of those pollutants in the air. Hmm. The, all of that dust particles that sit there and float and that take days for it to come down we're just adding more with dead skin cells um, our pet animals mm -hmm. all of these things so it's a constant never flowing and then the furnace filter turns on and guess what happens when when we get ready to turn that on we're getting ready with the fall season coming yeah. yes. and when that black when that heat comes on again for the first time it's like it's a whole, even though our air has been on, when the right. heat comes on, it like puts a <laughs> non stop sneezing for yes, a lot of people. For so many people. Mm -hmm. And so obviously we recommend, uh, you know, getting your ducts clean, but after time, um, we've noticed a lot of people, they, they actually reduce that with active purification because we're constantly reducing it, constantly filling up your filters. And so we recommend a really good high quality furnace filter to go along with it right. mm -hmm. because then you're going to replace those often and keep that air completely, constantly clean 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Well, see, this will be the real test. It'll be really interesting this winter. We have an all electric home and it's baseboard heat. Mm. So <clears throat> do I need to say anything more with the electric bills? Mm. Mm -hmm. So we have a pellet stove mm. and about, it bothers my eyes sometimes. Uh -huh. So I'm curious to see how this is going to be with the pellet stove when it's yeah. on. Yeah. You, the only thing that will happen is that you're, it, you'll probably want to clean the back of the machine a little bit more often. Okay. And that's mm -hmm. with anybody that's doing a natural fire or any of those types right. of things in the home, right. like a fireplace. Yeah. Um, Just creates more particulate. Right, yeah. right. exactly. Mm -hmm. sure. But this will be the real test because yeah. I'm sure it's going to be much cleaner. Yes. Because, you know, I really was kind of hesitant even getting it in, but they use a lot of pellet stoves in Europe as well. Sure. And that one actually came from Europe. Yeah, and, they, so. and, and, this, and these, they have these types of cells. Um, and the reason why that we show the cell is um, due to the fact that um, not only is this the, the main, one of the main components to this machine, but they make induct systems um, for home. So for example, if you have a home that's over 3,000 square feet, 
the solution wouldn't be to put two of these machines in there. Maybe it might be, but they have induct systems that go right into the HVAC system, mm -hmm. really? and which is yeah. amazing for commercial facilities, yes. um, uh, homes that are five or 6,000 square feet homes. Mm -hmm. You might have one of this in your central living space, but then we're gonna take care mm -hmm. of it by putting that into the HVAC duct yeah. system, nice. which really it's is just- a much bigger version it's a much of that. Big, they right. have mm -hmm. uh, right. nine or 14 inch versions, and it goes in and gets plugged right into the HVAC system. Um, and it takes care of um, your dust, your particulate, your, uh, your dander, all of those yeah. things. And viruses. And, and viruses. Bacteria. And, right. and so, yeah, this, for, for all daycares, uh, for oh, all, definitely. all it's, it's such a no brainer yes. um, because those kids and, uh, you know, assisted facility, you know, assisted living facilities, nursing homes, um, you actually, what we've noticed, because we've dealt a lot with nursing homes, is um, the, um, uh, they would the urine in there is so high, yes. and so there's, you actually, they have to test their air for the ammonia levels, mm -hmm. because that's what urine breaks down to, is ammonia, and they have to test the air for the, uh, ammonia. And if it's too high, well, I could tell you, when, when this technology is installed, it reduces <clears throat> all of that ammonia within their air um, and you may only smell it when it's actively uh, happening and not cleaned up and so it's amazing as we're talking i'm thinking of my daughter she is a school teacher Mm -hmm. This would be great if she could take it in her classroom. Absolutely. Yes. So yeah, I'm they're going definitely. To have to share that yeah. information. Smaller with her. units for classrooms, even plug-in style. Um, just depends on how large of a space she has. Mm -hmm. Right. So, is there a certain? Is this a standard size for the air purifier, or is there different sizes? Uh, yeah, so there are different models and different sizes. I will tell you, as this a tool, yeah. you know, because I like to think think of these things as uh, this one is like your workhorse, your tool. Okay. Um, this style, the one that's scalable up to three thousand square feet, is definitely your is your is your most bang for your buck when, right. you, when you're talking about that's what I'm thinking. All yes. of these things, they have smaller units. Yeah. Um, you don't have all the same capabilities and all oh, the versatility. I would, I would definitely do that in a classroom. Mm -hmm. because I've been to her classroom and it would be very sufficient mm -hmm. and then whenever she's uh, yeah, home for you know the old TV stands that we used to put into the little corners <laughs> right those actually are wonderful for uh, you know that we yeah, put speakers yeah. on are wonderful for for these type of active purification systems right and it's a, a school classroom is a great setting because as she's closing up for the day she sets the away mode and sanitizes her whole space for eight hours while nobody's there it's awesome. comes back the next day and boom you have yeah, a so, brand new clean room so the kid that came to school with something <laughs> <laughs> maybe didn't spread, but it was still on the on surface. On right. the surfaces. Exactly. Yes. And so instead of you know relying on that cleaning crew that maybe missed something, um, you know pencil sharpener or whatever it might be, they actually this actually will take care of it. And the cool part is there's a remote control, so right. you know it's very easy to use uh, yeah. on that level. So I yeah, think that's amazing. going to be a very good Christmas gift for them. There you go. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> yeah. And then she can bring it home and try it during summertime as well. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So, yeah, so mm -hmm. it's it's been it's been a whirlwind for you know pretty much um, everybody that we've known when they when they come into this it just drastically changes their lives, and yes. when they understand the implications of how do they use this, um, you know remember when cigarette smoke used to be in uh, all of the restaurants. Right. right. Exactly. You know when yes. we we would come yeah. home and take our jackets. You know when we had to sit too close, you would actually uh, so, take the machine, put the jackets into a room, uh, set the away mode for ten minutes, uh, or for for you would set it, and about ten minutes later you'd come back, and it yeah. was gone. all, all, all gone, gone off gone. the clock. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So very nice. You know that's how quickly it works. Very nice. Well, uh, we have one minute left. Was there anything you would like to summarize before we close? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, f the best thing for people to do is do the research. Uh, yes. Check that out. Um, you know, there's a website that, that should come up there on, on the screen right now um, where they can learn more about this. And okay, um, good. that okay. is pretty much it. I mean, I think it, once you go to active purification and understand the difference between active versus passive, um, you'll never go back. Right. Yes. Well, thank you so much for taking the time because I know 
Chris and Liz for, what, what's it been, 10, 12, 15 yeah. years? It's been a yeah. long time. Yeah, yeah. because the Congan Water Machine, mm -hmm. you were my rep for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I said, I trusted you, so I reached out to you when we were having all these fires and the air was so bad. Yes. I said, I need an air purifier, because I knew that you were carrying those. And yep. so move forward and here we are. Yeah. So just remember, you know, it is the holiday time coming around the corner mm -hmm. make a good Christmas gift as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, um, you know, you've got to be responsible for your health. It's like we've discussed, you know, the air, mm -hmm. the water and our food today. So may we all have a blessed, you know, enjoy the holidays and enjoy the season change too. Because now with the air mm -hmm. getting you know, we're getting darker and yes. everything is closing up indoors. It's more of a challenge. Yep, absolutely. So, mm -hmm. so thank you again. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to um, Chris and Liz or myself as well. So be well, enjoy, and be well. Take care. Thank you. WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.